Hi, welcome back. In this video, we will start to understand the optimizations that we have discussed in the introduction video. We will see how transient clusters can provide cost and resource benefits. So you would ask, what are transient clusters? So clusters which are created on the fly and deleted when no longer needed are transient clusters. In the last section, we saw how we can externalize the storage off to GCS and delete clusters without any repercussions. In using such a setup, we can create per job clusters because per job clusters provide a better fit for the type of your job and a better resource utilization and hence they are very cost effective. To give you an example, if your workload is more CPU bound than memory bound, you can use high CPU machine types which comes with more vCPUs per gigabyte of memory. Or if your workload is more memory bound, you can use high memory machines. In case you are not using such custom setups, you won't get optimal performance because for a CPU bound job, a high mem cluster won't give good performance and vice versa. Using a generic cluster for all of your workloads is not the optimal use of cloud resources. Cloud provides the elasticity to spin up the infrastructure on demand and we should be creating clusters which are sized according to our jobs requirement and delete when no longer needed. So to summarize, using per job configured clusters for better fit and utilization of resources is both cost effective and highly optimized way of running your Spark workloads. I'll see you guys in the next video.